Hey, what is going on again, YouTubers? It's been quite uh, quite a while. A actually, it's been quite some time since my previous um, MGTOW book club um, MGTOW book book club video. So, in this filming session, um, I um, I would like to give you guys my review uh, while I narrate. Um, a couple of chapters or maybe this just this chat this chapter or fast lane in particular find your open road since I since I couldn't find um, you know the you know a proper you know n n um, n n narration or of and or any audio track pertaining to such chapter of the book you know the millionaire fast lane Crack the code to wealth and live rich for a lifetime. And uh, also, I happen to have uh, finished work a bit early, a bit earlier than usual today. Um, so, without further ado, let us begin. So, fast lane thirty-six. Find your open road. At first. People refuse to believe that a strange new thing can be done. Then they begin to hope it can be done. Then they see it can be done. Then it is done and all the world and all the world wonders why it was not done centuries ago by Francis Hawk uh Hot um Hawk Hawkson Burn um Burn Burnett. <laughs> I've, I've never heard of such person, you know, but um, somehow she ha she happens to have the same name, the same first name as, as I do, which uh, not not sure if I should call it um, <laughs> sarcastic or amusing or kind of both at, at the same time. So. Um, Next, we have needs, ideas, opportunities, and the, the open road. Opportunities and the open road they represent are everywhere. Look around, that person complaining at the store counter. Opportunity, that stupid voicemail makes you hate navigating when you call the bank. Opportunity, that unsold house that languishes on the market. Opportunity, that trash on the side. Of the road, opportunity, the rotting salad that lasted only two days in the refrigerator, opportunity, those people bitching on that online forum, opportunity. Um, maybe I should just uh, excuse me. I just need to switch on this uh, camera light a little bit so, that, so to give you guys a give you guys. A, Smoother and the finer, you know, watching and visual, finer visual experience. Okay, here we go. Um, how do I look now? Much better, yeah, great. So, just, uh, for the sake of a uh, Better thumbnail, yeah. Awesome. Let's resume. <laughs> so, if you can't see the opportunities that surround you every day, you haven't tuned your fast lane frequency to them. When you make a few minor mental adjustments, roads seemingly closed are suddenly opened. Many entrepreneurs misinterpret opportunity because they associate opportunity with breakthrough, legendary ideas. They seek virgin ideas, perfect and new, ones that would be unveiled to the world in grand, in, in grandis, in grand, uh, in grandis, in grandis, in grandiose events. Really does that happen? I, I have been, um, yes, apparently I have been m making the same mistake. I have been repeating the same m mistake pretty much over and over as, you know, this chapter 
has pointed out. You know, so try to, um, you know, far too many people, you know, they, 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 they attempt to find new ideas or new opportunities in, instead of the existing ideas, in, in, instead of uh, attempting to optimize, you know, the existing solutions to the same problem. Since, since they aren't, you know, perfect, perfect solutions to to old problems yes so um, so it sometimes you know it actually saves you both energy and strength and time you know to just you know tr try to you know try to build your business on existing opportunities even existing fun you know existing found um, foundations instead of uh, new ones in instead of uh, you know attempting to start to build everything from you know from scratch you know yeah opportunity is really about some blockbuster breakthrough like the light bulb or the car but as simple as an unmet need or a need not met adequately opportunity is a solution to an inconvenience opportunity is simplification opportunity is a feeling opportunity is comfort opportunity is better service opportunity is fixing pain Opportunity is putting weak companies out of business. Someone is doing it. You have got a great idea, but someone is already doing it. So what? Do it better. Someone's doing it is a monumental illusion, imposing an impassable obstacle. Someone is already, someone is always already doing it. The bigger question is, can you do it better? Can you feel the need better? Offer great, offer great value. Or be a better marketer when I was struck when I was struck with my idea to start to start a, a limousine directory on the internet I thought it was a legendary idea that is until I went on the web and searched there were already a dozen companies doing what I thought was a pristine un, unmolested idea at the time, my frequency wasn't fully attuned. I was going to drop the, the idea and start a new brainstorm session in search of that infamous blockbuster idea. One that no one else among 6 billion people on planet Earth had thought of. Had thought of. But a friend interpreted my perception and kicked my, my, uh, my antenna my, um, into a proper tune. She said, Competition is everywhere. Just do it and do it better. That reminds me of uh, you know cold calling p people. I'm not. Sh I have no idea. You know um, how many you know business entities or individuals, human in individuals, <laughs> of course. Um, you know are currently making cold calls. You know all around the world. Uh, Though, yes, though I, you know, I, I kind of, uh, yes, I have adopted such my, mm, of, you know, I have pretty much firmly ad adopted such, um, you know, uh, my mindset of just do it in, in instead of, uh, you know, le letting myself slide into a state of, into a state of, uh, you know, analysis paralysis. Yeah. So for, um, Forget the big idea, go for better. Successful businesses really evolve from some legendary idea. Nope, successful entrepreneurs take existing concepts and make them better. They take poorly met needs and solve them better. Skip the big idea and go for the big execution. You don't need an idea that has never been done before. Old ideas suffice. Just take it and do it better. Execute like no one has. Years ago, what if, what if Sergey Brin and Larry Page look at the internet landscape and said, gee, there are plenty of search en engines out there. Yahoo, Snap, at um, Alta Vista. Why start Google? It's being done. Thankfully, um, thankfully they didn't. And now Google is the most used search engine. And because, and because of it, Brin and Page are now billionaires. A brand speaking new idea? Nope. A need solved better with big execution. So speaking of uh, you know, so 
search engines we have you know now nowadays we, we, we have even more such as you know DuckDuckGo and uh, Yandex you know uh, you know a Russian based uh, most predominantly speaking a, Ru a Russian based search engine but you can also access it from you know from c countries other than Russia you know so long as you know your 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 internet service provider or you know your current regime has not blocked it yet you know well you can still use VPNs to buy you know to to circumvent internet restrictions in most cases yeah fairly e easily yeah as you as you guys can can now see you know I have already you know, I managed I succeeded I have succeeded in circumventing the Great Firewall of China and uh, that's why you, 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 you can still see me um, relatively you know frequently um, are updating my YouTube channel as well as my pa patreon page yeah so uh, departments stores have been around for decades but that didn't stop Sam Walton from creating Walmart it was an open road when the road seemed closed hamburgers were around for decades but that didn't stop Ray, Ray Kroc from starting McDonald's it was an open road when the road seemed closed Coffee had been around for a thousand years when Howard, um, Howard Schout, Schouts created Starbucks. A new idea? Nope. Starbucks made coffee fashionable and invented a brand, an ambience, and an emotion, and attached it, and attached it to coffee. It was an open road when the road seemed closed. DVD rental stores were around for a long time, but that didn't stop Netflix um, or Redbox from starting a company and adding convenience to the neat equation. It was open road when the road seemed closed. Beer ha has been brewed for thousands of years, but that didn't stop Jim Cock from starting Sam Adams or Sam uh, Caligoni, excuse me, I don't know how to pronounce this. Name, uh, from from starting Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, um, now the fa the fastest growing brewery in America. Dogfish was started back in 1995 with a 10 gallon home brew kit, brew kit and little cash. There was an open road when the road seemed closed. Garbage has been around since men have walked the pl the planet. Yet that didn't stop Brian. Um, Scudam, Brian um, Scudam, um, Scudam from starting and then franchising um, 1 800 God junk, nor did it stop Wayne um, Hugh, um, Hugh, Hugh, Zin, Hugh, Hugh Zinger from founding waste management with just one truck and a handful of customers. He later built waste man management into a Fortune 500 company. Is garage a new need? Um, is garage a new need or a need that needed better fulfillment? It was an open road when the road seemed closed. A blanket with arms, it's been around for years, but that didn't stop Snuggy from selling four, 40 million blankets via inf infomercial marketing. An old idea better marketed and better executed. It was an open road when the road seemed closed. MySpace was thriving well before Facebook, but that didn't stop Mark Zuckerberg. He saw a niche. He he, he saw a niche and uh, he saw a niche need and solved it. It was an open road when the road seemed closed. Poorly met, poorly met needs are open roads when they often appear closed. Successful businesses take existing ideas, services, and products and simple make and simply make them better or spin them in new directions. So uh, next we have how to spot open roads. Not a day goes by when I don't spot a need that can be exploited for fast lane opportunity. My mind is tuned because I see the I see the terrain of opportunity through accustomed senses. I see and hear what most people don't. How can you tune your eyes and ears to the same attuned frequency with a little practice? It's easy. Open roads, needs, and opportunity come. Um, come pre prefaced with 
with cold words or phrases that scream this is, is an opportunity when you catch yourself or someone else in these words. You, you just uncovered a possible opportunity. Here are the most common phrases. I hate blah blah blah, what do you hate, solve the hate, and there's your open road. I don't like, what don't you, what don't you like, remove the dislike, and there's your open road. This frustrates me, what is frustrating, remove the frustration, and there's your open road. Why this, why is this like this? <laughs> I don't know, why is it, remove the why, and there's your open road. Do I have to, do you, remove the have to, there's your open road. Why I wish there was, what do you wish, if you wished, others, others wish to, make wishes come true, and there's your open road. I'm tired of, what are you tired of, fix someone, fix someone's tiresomeness, and there's your open road. This sucks, what sucks, remove or reduce suckage, and there's your open road. Yeah, so, um, probably I, I should start, a, I should start, a, a side, a side, a side business entity that specializes in tackling complaints and uh, grievances coming from end users of Gumtree or Australia. Since you know, um, I I can see lo lots of uh, negative reviews and feedback. You know, at productreviews.com.au when it comes to you know. Um, you know, when it comes to posting an ad or po posting several ads on Gumtree, and then all of a sudden, w w without any pri um, prior explanation or notifications or w warning m messages from Gumtree, you know, all of a sudden, your ads, all, all of them got all got removed and your account got blocked. You know, um, probably yeah, th that's an that I do smell such need, um, but I, you know, that might not still you yield that much amount of profit since, um, you know, it, it's pretty much seems like a you know a, a snowball effect when when you know when when um, when when customers they uh, you know they begin to to choose to 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 leave. Um, Due to you know you know the poor poor quality of the services or products rendered to them you know and you know as a result of you know prolonged period of uh, prolonged period of uh, negligence and uh, blah 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 you know and uh, yes the change in their senior rankings of leadership somehow you know and they you know I. I you know, I I mean, country or or Australia did not, um, or, or I should say, failed to notify their 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 you know their end users you know slash um, slash customers either paying customers or non-paying customers in in advance you know regarding you know the you know the change of their you know the their company's senior leadership and uh, you know ownership you know so yeah let's resume um opportunity is dressed in predict in predictable code words that illuminates its presence for example i'm a sloppy eater a white shirt plus spaghetti spaghetti and forget it aside from the slop I have a nasty knack of biting my lip on the inside of my mouth. When I bite myself, a canker sore forms every time. I've had canker sore issues since grade school. Um, they are not problem, pro problematic unless I accidentally bite my lip or mouth. The last canker sore I had lasted a week and was excruciatingly painful. I'm tired of these canker sores. I barely I barely ached, noticed the language, I'm tired, ring, ring, opportunity. My discomfort led me to the internet for canker sewer research. I found some conflicting conjuncture and information on how to prevent them. Some people recommended vitamin, vi, um, some people recommended vi, um, vitamin X while others recommended herb Y. Vitamin 
vitamin X and herb Y is not the real name because I'm protecting my formula. So I bought vitamin, vitamin X and herb Y and waited until my next chewing mistake. Then it happened. While eating some oatmeal, I bit my lip. A few days later, I felt a canker sore brewing at the bite location. I loaded up on vitamin X and herb Y. Remarkably, the canker sore never formed, and it appeared that vitamin X and herb Y worked as a canker sore preventive. Now, every time I feel a canker sore brewing from an early, from earlier bite wound, I repeat this process, and each time the sore does not form. I haven't had a canker sore in nearly two years. I went from one every other mouth to none. My opportunity is clear. I could market my special canker formula to the masses. I have control, this decent entry barriers, scale, time. How many people suffer from canker sores? How many canker prevention formulas are out there? A few, but are they being marketed well? Can I execute better? The opportunities of open roads come in easily print. E the opportunities of open roads come in easily painted language. Discomfort. Distress, inconvenience, complaints, pro um, problems, and performance gaps. You must attack these challenges and in introduce solutions. Offer solutions to the masses, and I guarantee money will flow. Moral: Solve other people's problems, and you will solve your own money problems. Yep, can't agree more with, with that. Failure cracks open roads. Failure cracks roads open. Unfortunately, the least traveled fast lane roads are paved in failure, not smooth asphalt. A asphalt. This means stores are guaranteed. Everyone fails on the same on the road to success. Everyone fails on the road to success. What separates the winners from the losers is what happens when failure arises. How are you going to react? Will your road trip end with the verdict being this fast lane shit don't work, or will you switch roads or keep going? Failures are failures that drive you into new directions are often the most productive forces for invention. <laughs> the hard pace, the hard pacemaker, microwave ovens, penicillin, and uh, vul um, vulcanized rubber are all inventions. That are profound results of failures and accidents. Failure cracked the open road. Failure cracked the road open, and in that failure, the inventors had the fortitude to rec recognize it. Yes, quitting your road and changing directions is sometimes the best choice. But be mindful of the distinction between quitting and quitting your road. Quitting is live, leaving your dreams for dead and putting them into the bin of impossibility. Quitting your road is changing course and turning down a new road. If you end your career as a teacher to start a private tutoring company, you have switched roads. If you sell your tanning, um, your tanning salon and start an, an internet company, you have turned off one road onto another. If you quit that network marketing company and decide to start your own, you have switched roads. I made many road changes, but I didn't give up on the dream. If you, if your road doesn't converge with your dreams, it might be time to quit your road. Chapter summary: Fast lane distinctions. Opportunities are really about inventing breakthroughs, but about performance gaps, small inconveniences, and pain points. Competition should not impede your road. Competition is everywhere, and your ob objective should be to do it better. Fast lane success resides in execution, not in the idea. The world's most successful entrepreneurs didn't have a blockbuster ideas. They just took existing concepts and made them better, or exposed them to more people. Opportunity is exposed in your language and your thought processes, as well as others, as well as other people's language. Failure cracks open new roads. Quitting only happens when you give up on your dream. Yeah, so this chapter is quite inspiring, despite its,、uh, you know, despise, despite how how brief, you know, it turns out to be. <laughs>、um, so yes, I just I I, I 
so so far today I have been you know I have kept myself as productive as I could and uh, let's hope such um, flame of motivation shall shall stay burning for as long as it can last you know and uh, at, at, at least you know uh, I pray to the Almighty that um, I you know I sh shall not slide into slide back into a state of severe depression and uh, you know a state of uh, you know the um, you know um, a, a state of uh, some sort of a mental di you know disability you know or you know the state a mental state you know a highly um, debilitated mental state you know due to the occurrence of severe you know the re recurring re re the re reoccurrence of severe depression you know on me so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this this uh this book club this MGTOW book club v video so far and uh if God willing, I hope to see you guys next time on on YouTube. So yeah, take care, stay safe, stay put, stay tuned, have faith, and uh, hold the line. Um, be strong in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So until next time, au revoir, cheers, goodbye. Thank you.